We are moving towards automated driving and new business models are emerging, many of them pioneering new shared mode of transport. What we know right now is that the automated driving creates a number of challenges for policymakers. We know they need to facilitate safe field trials to prove out the technology. They're often needing to change existing regulations and frameworks to accommodate these myriad of vehicles like Roger was just talking about. They also need to address how can they issue a driver's license for essentially what is a piece of software? And how are they going to define what is safe enough? And how can we measure this? As well as how are you going to make sure that the consumers and the public understand and trust these systems? Most policies that exist today are only temporary measures to enable testing. Therefore, it is essential that policymakers engage with the industry, creating a shared framework for deployment and with users to get feedback on acceptability of the system. 5G is really going to unlock that fourth industrial revolution and enable connected and autonomous vehicles since these are offering real-time applications. This transformation is happening at a rapid pace with an estimate of about 70% vehicles being connected to 5G by 2025. And then by 2030, 95 or 96% of the vehicles being connected. What we need to consider as well is um, what if the update itself uh, is most important for the safety of the user? This has to be part of the communication with the user too. You have to assume users who are not very much tech freaks, uh, who are not very much into the whole cybersecurity part. So telling them your vehicle might not be secure anymore um, and this can have effects on your safety will be a tough nut to crack as well. So at the moment I think we don't learn enough from incidents that happen um, and I think we could take this opportunity of these new technologies to really create a loop where we feed back the learning from incidents and use that to improve our regulations going forward. But we, we can only learn by doing. It, it makes no sense to say I wait until the regulation is perfect. It will never happen. You have to use it to apply it and then we will see what are the hard points and then we can try to improve it together. So it's a really a dynamic improvement of the requirements. It's not just one static requirement and then and we have to apply for the next century. 2020 was disruptive for mobility. We learned from our observatory on border crossing status that due to COVID-19, the international transport of goods was severely impacted. We must consider working in smarter and more connected ways. While our need to remain mobile remains, we need to ensure that we do so efficiently with more reliability and safety than ever before. In plain words, a better, more sustainable recovery. Thank you.